Well, I started my first property, and it's the two big ones I do on Friday that are connected back to back. And it started lightly sprinkling on me on that first one, and then it just started pouring just as I finished that first one. It was about to start the second one, so I left there. I can always go back to that, do that second one later. It was supposed to just be a quick storm that passed through. The sky's already looking like it's clearing up. I don't know how much you can see. You can't see through my windshield that much because uh, I turned my wipers on. Oh, now they're coming on. Look at that. Oh. I turned the wipers on and it's just a and the wiper motor is just uh, just running and running. So I think it's time to replace the wiper motor. It's finally going. It's always something, man. It's always something. What are you going to do? Got to keep rolling. So on to the next ones and it looks clear here. They're wet, but whatever. Well, I haven't turned this camera on in a while. I don't even know how much juice in it. Oh, it's almost a full battery. Check that out. Well, uh, let me mark this down. Stand by, stand by. All right, so take a quick look at that yard there. I just got done cutting. It is soaking wet, sopping wet. You can see the puddles of water right there. And there's the other part of it. So, the reason I haven't turned the camera on in a while is I've been extremely busy. There's been so much going on, which I will catch you up on now. But it has been a series of issues in weather. Um, one of the biggest things by far has been weather. I'm going to try to kind of mount you here for a minute. We have had rain. Rain, rain, and more rain. We've had rain every day for over a week. And yesterday was the only day we didn't have rain. And I am not behind right now. I was behind. I was behind quite a bit. But, um, well, let's cover that first. I was behind quite a bit. And if there's anything I learned in this business is how to mow wet grass. It's not ideal. Nobody likes to mow wet grass, but... You got to do it, especially if you have a decent amount of lawns. I average 15 lawns a day, five days a week, So, and I'm a solo guy, so that tells you how busy I am. Now, it's probably a little more than I should have right now, but I don't take on more that I am forced to mow in the pouring rain. A lot of guys in my area do that, and that's because they've taken on more than they can handle, and they don't have a choice. They have to mow in the rain, which, you know, that's their prerogative. I think that they're not making any money because they're, they, you got to go through so much more work to make sure those lawns look decent when you leave because everything is soaking wet. So you're losing money, especially if you're paying out labors to do all that extra work. And, uh, you know, you can't necessarily build a customer for all the extra work you got to do because you're behind from the rain. Some guys do. And I don't know, that, that's their prerogative, that's on them. I, I don't, and I wouldn't, and never would. That's, uh, you know, you're choosing to mow those lawns in the rain, that's not their fault. Just like the rain is not your fault, but, you know, either way, there's a lot of ways to look at it, but, uh, so anyway, um, what I do is, you know, this is what I've learned to do. Like, that walker right there, okay, that walker is 700 pounds, roughly. I weigh 204. So that's, you're looking at 900 pounds with me and that walker, and that's before I pick up any grass. Now, when I had the Tiger Cat, that, would, that was a great mowing mower, and it bagged pretty well, but it, um, it didn't do as good as the walker, that's for sure. And the problem is, that machine is like 1,000 pounds right around there before you put the weight kit on the front, before you put the bagging system on it, on the back of it before you put the blower or the vacuum turbine on the side and before I get on it. So there's no way a lot of these lawns are just too soft and that would have to be bagged and there's just no way that I can bag these lawns with that mower. Um, some of them are so soft you're lucky to get across them one time without tearing stuff up without leaving marks so you know if it turns out you have to double cut it you're screwed. So you have two choices. You either 
um, don't cut it or you got to find something you can cut it with and bag it up and not be so heavy that you're going to destroy the lawn. So that's where the walker comes in. Um, but so that's what I do. I mow when it's not raining. If it's a very light sprinkle on and off, then I will mow. And, you know, if I'm starting a property and I'm like halfway through it and it really starts pouring, I won't finish it. I'll stop and I'll come back to it. Some guys will finish it and they just tear it up. Um, so that's what you do. You got to find ways to do it. I live in the Northeast and uh, even when we don't have tons and tons of rain, it's just, it's so damp here that most of the season until 10, 11 o'clock, sometimes noon, the grass is wet. So you need to learn how to mow that wet grass. If you don't, you might as well sell your mowers and get in a different business because you'll never catch up. You'll make people mad, people talk in small towns like mine, and you'll destroy your business name real quick. So, that, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But So I take on enough that, you know, it, it does get me behind. I do have to work a lot harder. Like I started mowing at 7 yesterday morning, and it was about 7, 7.30 last night when I stopped. It was nearing, It was getting pretty dark when I finished my last one, but I did finally get caught up. So this morning it started raining on me a little bit on and off and I stopped and you know then as soon as the rain let up I got right back to it and uh, you just saw that last lawn I did that one with the walker and uh, but I've been mowing a lot of them with the Great Dane and it disperses grass very well it's even wet grass dry grass it doesn't matter it does really really well and uh, I have the accelerator to throw on it if I do have to bag which still is a lot lighter than the Tiger Cat was. That being said some other reasons why I have not. You know what? Let me back this mower out because I can, uh, it'll, I'll be able to explain it better with light. Okay, as you guys know, that piece there broke right off and I had to put it back on there and weld it. So that gave me an issue with this mower. This mower was down and I got that fixed. Then I went to, I noticed it was still cutting really well, but the deck was pitched backwards and like over an inch and that was giving me a lot of problems it was leaving a lot of stragglers it was still leaving a really nice cut believe it or not um and i wasn't getting any blowout from the front but um it was still leaving stragglers and that's when i noticed it was off so i went to break these loose and they were super tight and when i did these right here are called swivel blocks and almost every part i've explained this in the past in great danes transfers over to john deere part numbers well no john deere dealer i called could get me these pieces they said they're discontinued i went on every website i could find online i went on uh, j thomas for mower parts i went everywhere all over ebay i could not find these blocks so what i had to do as you can probably see um i'll show you see how they go on it just it's a piece that comes through a washer goes on and the snap clip goes on there and it just holds it from falling out that way right there's one here and one in the back on both sides well this is the one i broke loose so what i did is i stuck a washer on there and i tack welded the washer to that block so that it wouldn't come out because i couldn't get these and i needed to use this mower so <clears throat> after i did that and i loosened up and adjust the block where i need to be and got that back together i come over to this side then i broke the one down in there i had to pull this off pull this whole assembly off and i did the same thing over there put a washer on tack weld it that was last thursday it is held up for thursday the rest of thursday it held up all mowing friday and then all the mowing i've done this week so i can't believe they've actually held but they did um I just tacked them because I didn't want a permanent well. I didn't want to do anything permanent on there because I want to be able to still take these off if I was able to find them parts. Well, I did find them. Um, I found them on a website finally the other night. It's called MND.com or something like that. They sell mower parts. And uh, they had them, actually. And I ordered two of them. One for there, one for there. I probably should have ordered a spare. But anyway, I ordered those two. And they're $36 a piece. So they should be in any time. They, they may even be in today. But uh, so, you know, I, I've had to do that. I mean, that just goes to show a lot of these channels. A lot of these channels talk to guys about, you know, get in the mowing business. Anyone can do it. Greg used to preach it like crazy. And, uh, you know, anyone can do it. It's easy. And, and it is. Anybody can get into it. But it is not easy. You have to, you got to figure things out you got to learn be able to improvise you got to be able to fix stuff um, you got to be able to make things happen when you're in a bind and you know that just goes to show you right there with that great thing some of the things I've had to do to keep that mower going you know so 
you got to be able to adapt and you got to be able i mean some may say that's rigged and it is rigged but you know what it's rigged to the point where it's still cutting great and i can still use that mower every day so you know them parts will be in it'll be fixed back correctly the right way and i'll be good to go um but that mower is only only has to last me through fall cleanups and then it has to uh it's it's going to be a backup after that i'll probably never sell it i'll keep it because it's a great backup mower um right now it's my everyday mower because i don't want to use the walker b i i can get stuff done faster and easier with this mower than i can with that walker b so um i'm going to be testing mowers out at the gie a lot of you guys know i'm going to be there this year finally finally i'm going to the gie so i will be there this year and uh there's a few standards i'm going to test It's definitely standards there's a few standards i'm going to test out and then i will make my decision and probably over the winter before next season i will buy whichever one i decide to go with i have a couple in mind and i know you guys got a lot of suggestions but uh, i've narrowed it down i got a few in mind and and we'll see depending on how i like what i test out there um i will be a lot of people have asked um and i've led up to a little bit in different videos here and there um I got my tickets already for GIE. They came in the beginning of September. I already have my plane tickets booked. And I will be staying with, I'm staying in a house. Um, and we split the rent on the house for the days we're going to be there. And it was going to be me, Brian from Top Notch, and Kevin from Fall River, all staying in this house. And since then, we have added Dennis from Grass Monkey and Jason Ambrose from Ambrose Landscaping. So. It's going to be uh, the five of us staying in this house, and now we are booked. We are max full. We couldn't, we couldn't add anybody else now if we wanted to. As a matter of fact, I think I got to sleep on Kevin's lap. I'm not really sure. Um, <laughs> but uh, so I will be there, and that's where I will demo stuff and uh, test out what I'm going to buy and go from there. But I will try to, uh, I don't know, after this video, who knows what will happen. I Like, like I said, I'm a... You know, on average, I think I'm at 71 lawns a week solo. So my buddy Ryan in the house and we do the fall cleanups. You guys have seen them in my past videos. Um, I'm leaving that Wednesday afternoon, the 17th of October. So Ryan, I'm going to start mowing all my accounts on the Saturday before the 13th. And I'm just going to keep going through the list until I get them done so that I can leave. Ryan is going to help me mow all my lawns. He's going to stick with me for them few days, um, Saturday through Wednesday morning. And uh, there, I don't see any problem as long as the weather cooperates. I don't see any problem with Ryan and I cracking out two of my days in one day. So it, it should be no problem or close, a day and a half of mine in one day. So either way, uh, thank, thank God I have him to help me out. He's such a good friend. And it, without that, there's no way I'd be able to go to GIE. No way. Um, in my area, grass grows in the fall just like it does in the spring. So... There's just no way I could take the time off if I didn't have his help. Um, so that's that. And uh, today is October 4th. Tomorrow is my birthday. I will be 40. 40 years old. So, yeah. That's about it. I got to get some mowing done. As you guys can tell, it looks gloomy, like a lot of this video looks dark, and uh, that's just the way it's been for like a week and a half. I told my wife, and my daughter reminds me of the movie they like to watch, Twilight, and uh, 
you know, that's exactly what it's like. It's just been gloomy like this for probably a week and a half, almost two weeks now. Not much sun, just rain on and off. And uh, it's just been really weird weather-wise. But uh, not many leaves are falling. We're getting a few that are dropping here and there. But, you know, it's just, uh, it, it hasn't been like nonstop rain and, uh, or, you know, nonstop leaves coming down in between the two of them. It's just, it's on and off with the rain and it's hit and miss with the leaves. It's just been really weird. Some of my customers' houses, I've been, you know, mulching and bagging leaves for <clears throat> almost three weeks now. But, you know, other ones like that tree right there, you can see in the background, half that tree is like an orangish red and the bottom left half is still solid green. It just looks really weird, but. Who knows? I have a feeling we're going to have a late fall. Um, I'm kind of hoping for it. I got a lot of plans between now and, uh, you know, the week after Thanksgiving. I have stuff going on. And so between GIE and uh, next week, I go the 11th and have the plow, the brand new plow mounted on my new truck. So I have that to do. I still got a lot of fall cleanups lined up to do. I just, uh, I am in no way ready for snow at all. So I'm hoping that uh, that it holds off for quite a bit. I don't know if you guys remember this. This is an old lawn that I had a while back. And then uh, they started mowing it themselves. And then I got it back again. But it was a bi-weekly. Even though I don't do bi-weeklies. But I mow the one right next door. So, you know, I was just, I did it anyway just to help them out. I actually enjoy mowing this. It's a solid hill like that all the way across the back of the property. All the way to the left there but i've showed it in other videos me mowing it with the walker b i think i've showed it uh mowing with the tiger cat and maybe even with the old great dane i had but anyway i got it back this year um probably about halfway through the year they called me and asked me to take it back over so i've been doing it but thanks for watching guys thanks for all the people that have been subscribing and uh commenting on the videos and uh there will be more to come before i leave for GIE. i promise this won't be it